In this video I'm going to take you through the Practice Assessor's view of the Pan London ePad. When you enter the Pan London ePad website address in your browser, you will see this welcome page. Click on the sign in button to go to the sign in page and enter your sign in details. To learn how to get an ePad account, please see the video Practice Assessor, accessing the ePad for the first time. After sign in, the first page you are presented with is your home page. The main feature of your home page is the dashboard. This summarizes how each of the students who have been allocated to you is progressing in their placement and part documentation and hours. On each row you can see the student name, their institution, the number of hours recorded for the placement and the part, and their completion of key forms and achievement of proficiencies. Where a form icon is shown in green, it's been completed. Where it is shown in red, it means it hasn't been completed yet, and is past its deadline. And if it is a light grey, it's not been completed but is not overdue. We have acronyms on each of these form icons. You can see full name and completion or deadline details by hovering over the icon. We have placement orientation, initial interview, midpoint interview and through to the final interview and then part specific documentation. At the end of the row you can see the number of proficiencies already achieved by the student, including any that have been assessed as not achieved. So with the dashboard you're able to quickly and easily see how each of the students who have been allocated to you is progressing with their PAD documentation and when to schedule meetings with them. On your homepage you also have the ability to send a group message. In this way you can send a message to all the students allocated to you and they will each receive a copy of the message within their own ePad. Messaging is only for informal communication, such as letting your students know when you will be on leave. To view a student's ePad in detail, you select the individual student from the dashboard. This takes you to the student ePad homepage. In the left-hand panel, you have more information about the student, including contact details for their academic assessor and personal tutor. You can also access their practice hours and message pages from here. On the practice hours page you can add or edit individual practice hours records. On the messages page you can view messages to and from the student, reply to messages and send a message just to that student. At the top of the ePad homepage, you have the current placement, what's next and don't forget panels. These panels provide links directly to documentation to make the ePad easy to use. Scroll down the homepage to find the student's full ePad documentation contained under the part and ongoing achievement record panels. You can access PAD material for every placement and part that the student has completed, as well as forms submitted to date in the current placement and part. Each of the part panels also contains a folder of guidance and information to help you to complete the student's PAD documentation effectively. The quickest way to view current placement and part forms is via the placement panel at the top of the page. The placement page has a tab format. You can scroll down the overview tab to see the student's progress. Or you can select the start, midpoint, final, anytime, part specific or all forms tab to look at the forms relevant to that stage in the placement part or their ongoing progress. Submitted forms are indicated with the number of submissions. Select the form name to open up a list of the submitted forms. You can see when the form was submitted and who signed it off if applicable. Select a submitted form to see the content. To learn how to complete forms in the ePad, please see the video practice assessor, completing documentation within the ePad. 